Is it better to restrict your eating window or to eat less calories? Well, short answer, it is way better for you to restrict your eating window and do something like intermittent fasting. It is true that when you restrict your calories, you will lose a significant amount of weight, but only in the short term. What this will do in the long run is that eating less will slow down your metabolism. Therefore, you will stop losing weight after a while. And even if you manage to get on your optimal weight uh, using calorie restriction, then what will happen once you start eating more is that you will gain the weight back. That wouldn't be a problem with calorie restriction, that's just to say that it's not that effective for weight loss. Yes, it is in a way, but in another way of looking at it, you are not planning to do it in the long run. And if you aren't, then it will not make you lose weight. And if you are planning to do calorie restriction in the long run, I encourage you to rethink that. But it is shown that calorie restriction increases your lifespan, but it doesn't really increase your health span. Meaning it makes you live longer, but it doesn't make you healthier. It doesn't make you feel better. It actually makes you feel worse. People who eat less are typically angrier and they have low libido and they don't feel as good as they would if they were to eat more. And when you eat less, you also will be more likely to lose muscle. So calorie restriction is awesome when it comes to decreasing the chance of cancers and even cardiovascular diseases. But when it comes to your brain health and when it comes to uh, dying because of falling down, which many people do, calorie restriction is not so good. And there is a healthier way to get the benefits of calorie restriction without actually having to decrease the calories and facing the consequences. And that solution is called intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting also makes you lose weight but it's not as significant as with calorie restriction. When you do intermittent fasting, it likely will not make you lose 60 pounds in a year, but it is a more sustainable strategy for losing weight. The way that intermittent fasting works is that you are eating less often. Therefore, you are spiking your insulin less often, which means that your blood sugar is more stable throughout the day, which helps you fix your insulin resistance which makes your cells more insulin sensitive, which in effect uh, makes carbohydrates and protein uh, from food go to your insulin cells instead of getting stored as fat, which in effect makes you burn fat and lose fat. And the awesome thing about intermittent fasting and restricting your eating window is that there are almost no downsides. In fact, there are no proven downsides that I know of. Zero. Some people believe that intermittent fasting increases your chance of gallstones, but when you compare that to uh, the many benefits of fasting, I think that it's pretty clear that fasting is great for you. Whereas with calorie restriction, I guess it just depends on your goals, but my opinion is that you can achieve the same goals that you would with calorie restriction with intermittent fasting and a little bit of prolonged fasting as well. So fasting for more than two days, that will boost your autophagy levels, it will lower your IGF-1 and mTOR, you will achieve the same benefits as you would with calorie restriction without losing that amount of muscle and without feeling horrible. But then eating too much also is not a solution. So if you are eating like 4000 calories a day, then restricting that is a very good idea. But yeah, I personally am not trying to restrict my calories and I am doing intermittent fasting every single day. And that's what I would recommend. I love you so much. See you in the next video.